Hello guys, welcome back to Patrick TVGH. This is Ghana's number one YouTube financial channel. And we are back again this evening with another edition on financial education. In our last episode, I explained to viewers that we are going to look at how we can calculate our interest on investments. Tonight, we are going to look at that segment so that when you are placing your monies at the bank in the form of investment, treasure bill, fixed deposit, you will you know beforehand exactly how much interest you are going to earn on your investment. People keep asking me, oh, I went to the bank, I expected 13%, 15% within three months when I went for my money, the interest I'm getting is too low, the bank is cheating me. This evening, we want to look at how it's calculated. Before we continue, I want to first of all thank our sponsors, Adum City Estate, developers of estate lands in Tema and Kaswa, and New Executive International School. We want to take a short commercial break from Adum City Estate and we'll be right back. said in the introduction today we want to look at how we can calculate our interest on our investments so i have the board behind me which says that calculation of investment returns today we are going to focus on two forms of investment that's treasurable and fixed deposit they, they work almost in the same manner so let's say you, you have been saving listening to Patrick tv gh you've been saving you have let's say a ten thousand cities at the bank and from today's discussion you want to go and invest the ten thousand in a universal banks or any other financial institutions uh, fixed deposit so let's say your savings which you want to invest is ten thousand cities you go to the bank the bank says that for ten thousand if you want to invest for let's say one year we are going to give you 15% returns on the 10,000 for one year. Now let's watch this. What the bank is saying is that if you keep this 10,000 with them for one whole year, that's 365 days. That's 12 months. You are going to earn 15%. So let's do a rough calculation. What it means is that it's going to be 10,000 by 15%. When I was in school, my math was not too good. But as for this, I know the answer. The answer will be 1,005. As interest that you are earning on the 10,000 for one whole year. That is 365 days and 12 months. So, 1,005 is, is cool, it's cool money. But someone will say, oh, why should I leave my 10,000 per bank for one year and I'll be getting 1,005? Yes, the bank is also using that 10,000 for other businesses and maybe the bank will be getting 18 percent 20 percent so their margin will be let's say three percent or five percent which is okay you might say that oh, well, let me, why don't i go and start a business if you don't take your time you start the business without proper planning in one year you will not have your ten thousand it's gone you will not have your interest of thousand five that you would have gotten the bank so you have to take your time and do proper analysis before you engage yourself in a business but if you want to go with the bank the 10,000 is going to give you 1,005 for one year. So this is a simple calculation. But in, there are instances that you go to the bank and you tell the bank, I have 10,000, but I want to do it for half year. So half year means six months. 
and the bank may say, Oh, we will give you 15% per annum. When the bank says per annum, it means that if you leave that money for one whole year, you are going to get the full 15%. By this case, you have gone to the bank to say that you want to do six months. So the earlier calculation that we did, the bank was giving you 1,005 for one whole year. This is the case you are going for half year, which is six months. It will not be prudent for the bank to say, let's give you the same 1,005 because it is 15%. The bank will have to now calculate it and give you six months out of the 12 months, which means on hand side, it's going to be half of this. So it's going to be 1,005 divided by 2. Take your calculator at home. Let's do the calculation. 1,005 divided by 2. So 1,005 divided by 2, which gives us 750 Ghana cities for 6 months. So when you say you want to invest 10,000, the bank says 15% per annum for 6 months. Don't go and say they should give you 1,005. Per this calculation, they are supposed to give you half because you are not doing for the whole year. Now let's assume you go there again. You want to do 10,000, but this time you want to do three months. Three months will not give you the same returns if it's one year. So once again, if six months is giving us 750 and you are doing for three months, you have to divide 750 by two. And that will give us three 75 Ghana cities. So if you are investing your 10,000 for three months at the rate of 15%, you are going to get 375 cities for three months. If you do it for six months, you are going to get 750 cities. If you do it for one whole year and the rate is still 15%, plus or minus, you are going to get 1,005. This is how banks and Institute, financial institutions calculate the interest that we earn on our investments. So, beloved, if you have watched this evening session, know that calculation or calculating your investment returns is a simple and gradual process. And banks normally use one year as the benchmark for all their rates, including treasury bill. When Bank of Ghana announces the treasury bill rate, it's also in the same vein: 91 days, 182 days, uh, 365. Uh, uh, this it works in the same way so before you even go to the bank you have done your calculation to know the return that you are getting on your investment and that is why patrick tv is here we are just here to educate people to know the basic things when it comes to banking and financial news if you have enjoyed our session this evening we humbly ask that you go to our channels youtube subscribe follow us on uh, twitter instagram facebook and all other channels we'll be right back next week with another educative edition on Patrick TV GH.